Hello, Let's Talk Sport viewers on YouTube and welcome to our first ever World Cup 2018 game preview, of course. It all kicks off this coming Thursday uh, between Russia and Saudi Arabia. I mean, everyone's gearing up for this game. Everyone can't wait for this game. Um, Andrew, you must be gearing up for this game. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, well, in a, it's... It's on paper. It's an awful game. It's two teams that nobody, <laughs> nobody could really give yeah. any uh, lesser of monkeys about realistically. But it's the opening game of the World Cup, so it is a spectacle. It's yeah. uh, lots of people will be tuning in, regardless of the the quality of the teams playing. Uh, even though Russia, the whole uh, the, the host nation, I still there's just not much going on with that team. Um, but it's it's the opening game of the World Cup. This is where it all starts. So anticipation will be high at least. Yeah, I mean at least people will be tuning in to watch this game. I'm not too many sure. Uh, it might be a world record in terms of how many people tune in to watch Saudi Arabia play, um, unless you're a football hipster or whatnot. But certainly Russia go into this uh, tournament with the expectation that home field advantage should play a big part into their fixtures, especially against Egypt and Uruguay later on in the group because they are much tougher opponents than what Saudi Arabia have to offer. Of course, a lot of Saudi Arabia players play in the same domestic league. Uh, they play against the same each other. Whereas Russia, you know, they still got a lot of players that play, you know, for teams like CSK Moscow that have that Champions League experience. So, really, do you think the quality of Russia uh, should maybe outbalance what Saudi Arabia has to offer in terms of um, in terms of chemistry, in terms of domestic league, um, knowing each other? Um, how how is Russia approaching this game really against Saudi Arabia, a team that they should really be looking to beat? Do you think? Uh, I think Russia they'll be approaching it as as almost a must win. Just in in terms of yes the football, but in terms of political side of things, with it being the home nation, wanting to get the the fans on board early on, they don't want to be embarrassed. And if they given the quality of players, the different quality of players in the two teams, it would be an embarrassment if they didn't get a win. It's the opening game. It's against Saudi Arabia. They're expecting to get three points. But they've got people like Golovin who can open up defences, who is box-to-box, -box, full of energy. Man United are looking at him. Juventus are looking at him. They've got Akin Fave in goal. You mentioned CSK Moscow, uh, who I've been a big fan of for years. Maybe he's a football manager. And, yeah. then, and then you see him in real life, and it's like, no, he, he is actually quite good, even though he had that horrible Champions League. I think a lot of people know about him because of that Champions League record. And they're thinking, oh, this goalkeeper's too good for CSK Moscow. But then again, he's not consistent enough. Is that a worry? Is that a worry really for this Russia side in the World Cup? Yeah, I think they've to get to get out of the group they need consistency because Uruguay be the heavy favourites to get out of that group. Egypt, I think the first game Egypt are playing Uruguay, um, and there's, it looks like Mo Salah isn't going to be playing in that one. Um, so I think you, imagine Egypt will lose that. But in the next game, that's when they play Russia, and that's you're thinking maybe Salah will be back for that one. So I think that's the massive one. I think Russia. They should overcome Saudi Arabia. It probably won't be great. It probably won't be pretty. Um, but Russia, you'd imagine they'll get the three points. And then it's that, that second game is massive with Egypt, especially if Salah's back for them. Because I think it's between those two to uh, to get out of the group. I, th I don't think Russia are going to make it out of the group, being honest. I think that um, my little workings that I did, which is very sad and very boring all here, um, have Egypt going through in second place on yeah. goals scored. Um, so, yeah, I think Russia, the Russian public will be disappointed ultimately. Okay, uh, quickly, um just to extend this on a little bit, do you know a lot about the Saudi Arabia team? I'm not going to throw you into the fire pit if you don't know anything about it. Okay, so from a team that we don't really know much about, um, is there is there the expect, expectation on them really to to potentially just to try and nick a point here and there? I mean, you're thinking about them going against either Egypt or Uruguay, you wouldn't think that they could get results. So potentially the only way of getting to the knockout stages would be to go fall out against Russia. So in terms of that, it could make for potentially an exciting opening game that no one would really expect because it's end-to-end -end stuff, people looking for the opportunities or whatnot. It could be, it could exceed our expectations really because of the teams that are on the table themselves in terms of Russia and Saudi Arabia. But how do you, how do you think this game's going to unfold? Do you think Russia should potentially walk it basically and get the result in the early one? Or do you think potentially Saudi Arabia, because of the uncertainty of this Saudi Arabia side, no one really knows the key players or whatnot, yeah. they could potentially cause an upset in the opener and defeat Russia? Um, I think there's parallels in a way to the uh, the first game for France at the, the 2002 World Cup, where it was France going in as champions when they'd won it on their home turf in 98, and the first game they had was against Senegal, mm. and that was where Senegal was pretty much unknown as a footballing nation, and Senegal get the 1-0 win, because it's, it is a case of nobody knew these players, and a lot of the Senegal players got big moves after that tournament, El Juf, uh, Salif Jao, uh, players like that. So I think there's an element of it could parallel that maybe with Saudi Arabia. They're almost a, an unknown quantity in one way. People don't expect anything from them. I think for them, just looking at it objectively at the moment, how things are, 
anything's a bonus for them. If they can get a point, fair enough, somewhere. If they can get a goal, I think uh, it's great. But I, I think, yeah, you could be right that it, it's, you think there's nothing, there is literally nothing to lose them. If they go first game all out against Russia, who knows? Who knows? I think it sounds like Andy's going for a Russia win in this one. Yeah. I'm going to go for a Russia win as well. Only just, though. Only just. I think, I think it'll be probably a pretty dour game. I think Russia will just edge it, and that'll be it. I'm going to go for a bit more exciting. I'm going to have my fingers crossed and, and hope that it's like a 2-1 kind of fixture and, you know, end-to-end -end kind of stuff throughout the game. But what is your own predictions, guys? Let us know in the comments box below this video. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Let's Talk Spot content, and we shall see you all soon.